Good morning! How did you spend your weekend? Cum v-ați petrecut weekendul? La cursul de astăzi o să învățați despre activități recreative. Ador să călătoresc și să vizitez palate, castele și muzee. Știați că în Londra există peste 170 de muzee? Iar pentru a încuraja activitățile culturale, unele dintre ele au intrarea gratuită. Merită să le vizităm, nu-i așa? Iar dacă ajungem la Londra, cu siguranță nu trebuie să ratăm Palatul Buckingham, acolo unde locuiește însăși regina Elisabeta a doua. Când majestatea sa este acasă, se ridică obligatoriu steagul regal și astfel îi se indică prezența. Uneori, în weekend, regina îi place să meargă la castelul Windsor, cel mai mare, dar și cel mai vechi castel locuit din lume. Până ajungem în Anglia să-i facem o vizită reginei, vă propun să ne îmbunătățim limba engleză, urmărind în continuare un nou curs. Good luck! Learning English, lesson 3. Hello everyone and welcome to Learning English, lesson 3. My name is Moana and I am delighted to invite you to participate in this lesson. Today we are talking about days of the week, months of the year, seasons, prepositions of time, free time activities and present simple, negative and interrogative forms. By the end of the lesson you will be able to talk about your free time activities. Ready? Steady? Go! Here are the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Weekdays are the five days from Monday to Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The weekend is Saturday and Sunday. Now let's practice what we've learned so far. Put the days of the week in the correct order. And we have weekdays and the weekend. Wednesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Friday, Sunday, Monday and Thursday. And here is the key. Weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. Here are the months of the year and the seasons. Spring, March, April, May. Spring, March, April, May. Summer. June, July, August. Summer. June, July, August. Autumn. September, October, November. Autumn. September, October, November. Winter. December, January, February. Winter, December, January, February. Now let's practice what we've learned so far. Put the months of the year in the correct order. And we have spring, summer, autumn, winter, and the month. April, December, August, March, July, November, September, February, January, October, May 
and June. And here is the key. Spring, March, April, May. Summer, June, July, August. Autumn, September, October, November. Winter, December, January, February. Prepositions of time. We use on with the days of the week. I have dancing lessons on Mondays. We use the plural form of a day of the week when we talk about it in general. Every Monday. We use in with the months of the year and the seasons. She goes fishing in July. I go skiing in winter. Now let's practice using this rule. Fill in on or in. April, autumn, Wednesdays, February, Fridays, Sundays, March, Spring. And here is the key. In April, in autumn, on Wednesdays, in February, on Fridays, on Sundays, in March, in Spring. Free time activities. Here are some activities that you could do in your free time. I draw, I go shopping, I have dancing lessons, I have music lessons, I ride the bike, I have a party, I paint, I play computer games. Once again, I draw, I go shopping, I have dancing lessons, I have music lessons, I ride the bike, I have a party, I paint, I play computer games. I visit my grandparents, I watch a film, I go skiing, I go fishing, I go to the cinema, I cook, I spend time with my friends, I go to the gym, I play the guitar, I sing. Once again, I visit my grandparents. I watch a film, I go skiing, I go fishing, I go to the cinema, I cook, I spend time with my friends, I go to the gym, I play the guitar, I sing. Let's practice what we've learned so far. Read the text and fill in the missing activities. In January and February, I visit my grandparents, or I go skiing, or I play computer games, because it's my favorite winter hobby. In March and April, I draw, or I go to the gym, or I have a party, because I like to stay fit. In May and June, I ride the bike, I watch a film, or I have music lessons, because it's sunny outside. In July and August, I cook, I go shopping, or I spend time with my friends in the park, because it's hot. In September and October, I go to the cinema, or I play the guitar, or I paint, because the color of the leaves is beautiful. 
in November and December, I visit my grandparents, or I sing, or I have dancing lessons because I enjoy spending time with them. And here is the key. In January and February, I go skiing because it's my favorite winter hobby. In March and April, I go to the gym because I like to stay fit. In May and June, I ride the bike because it's sunny outside. In July and August, I spend time with my friends in the park because it's hot. In September and October, I paint because the color of the leaves is beautiful. In November and December, I visit my grandparents because I enjoy spending time with them. Present simple. The last time we talked about the affirmative forms. Data trecută am vorbit despre formele de afirmativ. Today we are talking about the negative and the interrogative forms for the present simple. Astăzi vorbim despre formele de negativ și interrogativ pentru present simple. Here's the negative form. Subject plus do not or don't plus verb. And for the third person singular, subject plus does not or doesn't plus verb. This is the negative form of the verb to read. I do not read or I don't read. You do not read or you don't read. He does not read or doesn't read. She does not read or doesn't read. It does not read or doesn't read. We do not read or we don't read. You do not read or you don't read. They do not read or they don't read. And here is another verb in the negative, to listen. I do not listen, I don't listen. You do not listen, you don't listen. He does not listen, doesn't listen. She does not listen, doesn't listen. It does not listen, doesn't listen. We do not listen, we don't listen. You do not listen, you don't listen, they do not listen, they don't listen. Now let's practice what we've learned so far. Put the sentences into the negative form. I go skiing, I don't go skiing. You go to the gym, he rides the bike, She goes shopping. We spend time with our friends. You visit your grandparents. They play the guitar. And here is the key. You don't go to the gym or you do not go to the gym. He doesn't ride a bike or he does not ride a bike. She doesn't go shopping or she does not go shopping. We don't spend time with our friends or we do not spend time with our friends. You don't visit your grandparents 
or you do not visit your grandparents, they don't play the guitar or they do not play the guitar. Here's the interrogative form. Do plus subject plus verb. For the third person singular, does plus subject plus verb. This is the interrogative form for the verb to read. Do I read? Do you read? Does he read? Does she read? Does it read? So does for the third person singular. He, she, it. Do we read? Do you read? Do they read? And here is another verb in the interrogative, to listen. Do I listen? Do you listen? Does he listen? Does she listen? Does it listen? Do we listen? Do you listen? Do they listen? Now, let's practice what we've learned so far. Put the sentences into the interrogative form. I don't go skiing. Do I go skiing? You don't go to the gym. He doesn't ride the bike. She doesn't go shopping. We don't spend time with our friends. You don't visit your grandparents. They don't play the guitar. And here is the key. Do you go to the gym? Does he ride the bike? Does she go shopping? Do we spend time with our friends? Do you visit your grandparents? Do they play the guitar? We know have got is irregular in the present simple from lesson two. But when it appears in expressions, it is regular because it doesn't show possession. I haven't got a car, but I don't have a party every week. Have you got a big house, but do you have dancing lessons on Tuesdays? Now let's practice what we've learned so far. Put the sentences into the interrogative. They don't have a shower in the morning. Do they have a shower in the morning? I don't have lunch at noon. He doesn't have a snack in the afternoon. We have dinner in the evening. And here is the key. Do I have lunch at noon? Does he have a snack in the afternoon? Do we have dinner in the evening? Now it's your turn to give information about your free time activities. But before you do so, let's practice using some of the information we've talked about until now. Read the information about Mark's free time activities and fill in the missing words. Monday, play the guitar. Tuesday, go fishing. Wednesday, draw. Thursday, visit his grandparents. Friday, ride the bike. Saturday, play computer games. Sunday, go to the cinema. So, he plays guitar on Mondays. He, on Tuesdays, he draws, 
he visits his grandparents. On Fridays, he... On Saturdays, on, he... And here is the key. He plays the guitar on Mondays. He goes fishing on Tuesdays. He draws on Wednesdays. He visits his grandparents on Thursdays. On Fridays, he rides the bike. On Saturdays, he plays computer games. On Sundays, he goes to the cinema. Now it's your turn to give information about your free time activities. I'd like to thank you for participating in the lesson. Have a great day. Goodbye. Când ajungeți la Londra, merită să vă urcați în London Eye. Are 135 de metri înălțime și este cea mai înaltă roată de observație din Europa și a treia din lume. Impresionant, nu? A fost construită în 1999 pentru a celebra trecerea în noul mileniu, fiind gândită inițial ca un proiect temporar. Pentru că s-a bucurat de un real succes, britanicii au hotărât să păstreze roata, care a devenit astăzi atracția orașului. Dar știați că London Eye n-a fost prima roată construită în Londra? Prima construcție de acest fel a fost realizată în anul 1895 și se numea The Great Wheel sau Marea Roată. Avea o înălțime de 95 de metri, dar a fost demolată în 1907. Atât pentru astăzi. După cum știți, suportul de curs poate fi găsit pe pagina de Facebook a emisiunii. Tot acolo ne puteți scrie dacă aveți întrebări. Nu uitați că lecțiile sunt disponibile și online pe canalul de YouTube al TVR sau pe site-ul tvr.ro. Have a nice day! Bye bye!